Are you really gonna hand wash that? Are you really going to take the time to take it to the cleaners and spend that extra cash? Know yourself before you go into the store, okay? And just so you know, all of the tips that I'll be giving today will not just be for thrift stores, you can take these tips into any form of shopping. Remember that. Hey, welcome back. I'm sure as you've seen from the beginning, this is going to be a part two of my thrift tips. So if you haven't watched part one, I highly encourage you to go back and watch that video and then come back and watch this one so that you can get all the complete tips for thrifting because you don't want to miss out on anything. And if you're back for another video, this week of life and Angela, thank you for coming back. And I just wanna say, give this video a like and subscribe if you're into the content, cause I need it so that we can get onto people's feed. So let's jump right into the video. When you pick up an item, I strongly suggest that you have an idea of what you are wear with it. And I say this because you don't want to pick a piece that doesn't go with anything else in your closet. Whatever store you go into, you don't want to do that because it limits you. Now, it doesn't matter if your style is whimsical and colorful or minimal and neutral. You have to think about your closet overall or the items that you wear more often and think does this piece go with that? If not, are you willing to make the effort to wear this piece? Now, if it's an amazing blazer that you get for $10 or less and you know nothing in your closet goes with it, go at it. Get it, you'll find something. It's a great blazer, it's a great fit, it's a great color, great pattern, great print, whatever. You'll find something to fit it. Okay. I only say this just because sometimes people need foundation. This video is a foundational video. So if you're a professional thrifter, this is not for you. You know how to style pieces already. You know how to imagine yourself wearing some crazy outlandish avant-garde piece. This is for people starting. The fundamentals help you, they give you foundation, and from there you can build and then go crazy. And I just wanna say that this tip is optional. This tip is optional. If you are going to a thrift store to find things that you would never wear, go at it. That's what I do. I, I try to pick up things that I know I won't wear just to see if I, might be able to pull it off. And you know what? Sometimes those end up being my favorite pieces. Listen, sometimes you gotta try something new. If you don't take the risk, you never know. This is for after you've bought all your items. There are some people who go to a thrift shop and they see all these prices that are lower than normal and you get excited and so you buy the whole shop. Please go in with the budget or at least something that you're thinking like like an average, you know? Because you, you want to enjoy your pieces after, not have buyer's regret, okay? That's all I'll say on that. So lastly, I want to tell you guys after you go up to the register they ring out all your prices you realize that you've only spent fifty dollars for 10 to 15 pieces be happy inside enjoy your items because guess what you can't return them they're yours forever and that's a good thing i think i like the bargain if you follow the budget tip 
you feel good. You won't have buyer's remorse. And even if you start to, like if you go over your budget, if you start to have buyer's remorse, remember that you can't take it back anyway. It's a thrift shop, no returns, final sale. So why worry? Why give yourself this regretful feeling? Live your life, enjoy your pieces, go and wear it. Make life a fashion show, have fun, enjoy yourself, be confident in it. Every time I look in the closet and I see something that I got for super cheap, and it's great quality and it looks really cool. I get happy all over again. And I want that for you too. Well, thank you for watching this video. I'm really excited for this new channel and being a YouTuber, it's, it's fun. I hope that you will be able to enjoy many more videos with me. So please don't forget to subscribe, give this a like, comment down below um, any other tips that you may have for new thrifters so that they won't be overwhelmed. Did you find these tips helpful? And anyway, let me know. I'm here and I wanna connect with you. If you would like to stay connected, my social media handles are Life and Angela and Revel and Amal on Instagram. I will add all the rest of the things in the description below. Thank you again. I hope you have a beautiful day and I hope you go thrift shopping very soon and that you are not overwhelmed by it because it should be a peaceful and joyful process. Don't forget to check out my portfolio site, which I will link down below for Amal Studios. I also do design services, so if you need any of that, let me know. And I have a brand called Revel in the Mall, and that is a marketplace for my art, my apparel and design, so check that out. And lastly, I am still looking for sponsors from our art exhibit about black hair, so if you are interested or know anyone that is interested in becoming a sponsor, please send this link over, click on this link, and um, share it. Juicy, 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 these twists are. Oh, I love them. Dang, dang. I'm anthropology. I got my scar from anthropology.